couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle lesson right here on Lickin' Riff and in this video we're gonna have a blast because we're gonna learn an old school piano style blues turnaround in E. Old school piano style blues turnaround in E. Quite a fancy name, but it lives up to its promise because it's quite a fancy blues turnaround. It sounds like this. <laughs> You can use that dominant 9 at the end or just finish on okay, on this. Um, so, once again. So, um, this has a walking bass line with kind of a chord progression in there. So, um, you start with 6 and 8 on strings 1 and 2. And you slide it twice from 6 to 8 to 7 and 9. And the second time you slide it, you play the E bass string with it. And then you do kind of a normal turnaround. Okay, from, uh, from E, this is E. And you do the chromatic move into E. Now this is E as well because D, D sharp, E. Okay, so from E, to E. We don't need to put the whole D shape on. You do this, okay, and then you play 6 and 8 again. Then you play 5 and 7, but you play 7 on the 6th string, okay, because this is a B note and B is the 5th of the E chord. So we want to have a walking bass line. Okay, so... Okay? slide into this okay into the other E so we slide from 3 and 4 to 4 and 5 and we play the next E bass note with the slide okay, like this so we get this and then the open E string and then this now this, the B flat bass note, is um, kind of the, um, well, without getting too much into theory, the simple explanation is that it's the chromatic note from B, B flat. The more fancy explanation is that it creates the diminished sound, the B flat diminished when you play A7 and then raise the bass by half a step. But let's not get hung uh, on to that. Play 6 and 6 on strings 3 and 6. And then the open 2nd string. So you get this. Okay? So... And then the bass line is this. the chromatic move. So after we play this, okay, we go to B again, but this time here we play two on the A string with the open E string, and then this. Okay, this is kind of a normal blues turnaround, and we use that to end. So it's uh, three and three on strings three and six. And then two and two on strings three and six. And then we play the open third and sixth strings. And we hammer on one on the third string. This is E. This is an E chord outline. But uh, let me explain why we moved here instead of playing this again. Because we were here. We could do this. This is easier. Um, because if we do this, we're closer to this. Okay, so it's a more fluent movement and we can keep the notes longer. So um, we finish on this. 
Mm. Now, um, you can add the dominant ninth sound by adding two on the first string and three on the second string, but make sure you keep this ringing. And you add this as kind of a high piano addition. So, okay? So play it very, very delicately and keep these two notes ringing. That's why I'm using my third finger and my pinky for these notes. Instead of because these two fingers, this finger is thicker than the pinky, so it can touch the third string and mute the G sharp note. So I prefer, haha, it muted the note, irony. So uh, I prefer, you know, to take it safe. Now if you isolate the bass line, you get a very old school walking bass line. So, style blues turnaround in E. Long name, fancy name, awesome riff. So uh, before you go, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go download the tab from the website. The link is in the description below. That's why I point downwards because it's below the video and go download the tab. Everything is for free on like and ref this video, the tab. But if you want to give something back, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab and everything goes right back into your guitar education into making these videos. So I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.